Hey guys, Inabu here with a long overdue video. And in this video, I want to take a look at the Speedy B F7 flight controller. The reason why I'm looking at this flight controller today is that with the upcoming release of Betaflight 4.2, I wanted to take another look at this because I feel like this flight controller is going to start offering a lot of the features that I want to be able to put on my builds. Now, Included in the packaging, you get a SpeedyB card with a QR code so that you can get the manual in order to be able to access instructions on the flight controller. On top, we have the flight controller itself. And then located in the packaging, we are getting a XT60 connector with a 12 gauge silicone covered wire. A wiring harness if you want to use a 4-in-1 ESC, a bag with a harness adapter for a 401 ESC so that you can wire up the harness to your favorite ESC, a spare wiring harness for when you break the pins on the first one as you try to get that one installed into your favorite ESC because let's face it you will bend and break some of those when you try to get it done correctly gummies of two varying sizes one a little bit longer and one more traditionally short for your stack depending on your need also included are some nylon standoffs that you can use to get into your stack depending on how you're building your flight and I feel like these are the basic necessities that most flight controllers should come with so thank you Speedy B for giving us a good little start kit right there now looking at the flight controller this is a all-in-one flight controller so typically if you're building you would have your positive and negative coming out the back your ESC 1 connected here ESC 2 connected there 3 and then 4 however this flight controller can be used with an all-in-one ESC and again thank you Speedy B for placing the junction to plug in the 401 flight controller in the front because typically speaking a lot of flight controllers will have that junction in the back causing you to have to rotate your flight controller 180 degrees and then change it in beta flight. Also, this flight controller has five UARTs, four of them available with UART 3 being reserved for Bluetooth connectivity with the SpeedyB app and your Bluetooth antenna is located here. You also have current sensing built into the flight controller as well as 32 megabytes of flash memory for those of us who like to do black box. You'll also notice on the bottom here we have individual breakout pads for one, two, three, and four if you want to solder directly for your ESC as well as your battery, your ground, your current sensing, and your telemetry sensing. Another thing about this flight controller that I'm very happy about is the location of UART 1 which is reserved here for your typically for your flight controllers and you have your 5 volt your ground your T1 and R1 here for those of us who want to use crossfire you can solder right here to that corner in the bottom right and have a nice neat section where all your needs are met on this side here you've got your LED controller your ground and your buzzer positive and negative. This is also convenient for us who want to use buzzers such as the Vifly V2 or the Hellgate buzzer where we need to have a ground and our buzzer positive and negative located correctly there. Another thing you'll notice on this flight controller is that on the bottom the MOSFETs are pretty typically large. Let's get that back in the focus. We have some good sized MOSFETs located here to help with that current sensing and the grounding. And 
on the top here, you'll see that we do have that ARM F7 processor. Now, one of the things that has kept me from using this flight controller is the fact that it does have an ICM20689 gyro. A lot of us do not like those gyros because they do have a lot of noise, but with a lot of the new filtering that's being released in Beta Flight 2, 4.2 and 4.16, I feel that a lot of the new filtering would probably not be a problem with the sensitivity in this gyro. So I'm looking forward to trying this out in my builds and seeing if I have any issues with filtering or noise. But with the efficiency of all of the new ESCs that are out there and Betaflight 4.2, I don't really think that's going to be a problem anymore. One of the other features that's on this that I'm also looking forward to because I'm thinking of putting this in a long range build is the fact that it does have a barometer sensing which will allow me to do things such as um, iNav or Betaflight GPS recovery. And your barometer is located right here, not too far away from the harnessing where it comes for the 4 one ESC. Your boot button is located here in the bottom, which is also still convenient. For those who use the hard started RSSI, that pad is located here. And for anyone who is hooking up a GPS, your GPS location is located here with your SCL. Let's see if I can get that. SCL is located here and your SA is located here. So again, I'm looking forward to putting this in because I do like the layout of the board. The construction on it is very nice. I mean, this thing is thick. The copper on it looks very good. Speedy B. They did a good job manufacturing this um, flight controller. So I'm excited to put it in a build and see how it flies. And I will be trying to get some flight footage of this in a build very shortly. You know, so any questions or comments, please leave them in the video description. Um, I will have a link in the video description to this. This was purchased with my own money from uh, Race Day Quads. They did have this in stock. Um, any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, thank you for watching, and I hope to have a lot more videos up because with uh, things going the way they are, I've got a lot more time on my hands. Thanks for watching, and you guys, you have a great day. Bye now.